Hey, so I want to read um, a section from Grounded Spirituality that I think, you know, cuts to the heart of, of the message in many ways, and that, that I think is something, is a, is a quote that's um, worth discussing. Um, so let me read it to you. Quote, the primary cause of our unhappiness is not our thoughts. The monkey mind is not the source of our anxiety. It's a symptom of it. Forget the monkey mind. The mind is not the problem. Unhealed pain is. Men have been blaming the mind for their neurosis for centuries, while deftly avoiding that which sources its maladies, somatic constrictions, and unprocessed emotions stored in the body itself. It's like losing your keys somewhere in the house and looking for them in the car. Useless, useless, useless. Until we stop blaming the mind and recognize that its anxieties stem from the unresolved emotional body, there'll be no liberation. Shifting out of unhappiness is not a cerebral process. That's just another ineffective band-aid. It's a visceral full body experience. It's the monkey heart that's the issue. The state of inner turbulence and agitation that emanates from an unclear heart. The more repressed your emotional body, the more repetitive your thoughts. Flooded with unhealed emotions and unexpressed truths, the monkey heart jumps from treetop to treetop, emoting without grounding, dancing in its confusion. Often misinterpreted as a monkey mind, the monkey heart is reflected in repetitive thinking, perpetual anxiety and negative imaginings. To calm and clarify your mind, you have to heal your heart." Close quote. You know, this, this idea emanated so much from my own experience, you know. When I would get inside of the mind, witness the mind, meditate, watch my thoughts float down the river, all the rest of it, it was sort of helpful at times. I mean, it allowed me to detach, pull back and get perspective, but it didn't really change anything. The repetitive cycles of thought continued, you know. It's like witnessing, which is often framed in the patriarchal spiritual traditions as a kind of, um, you know, healing approach. It really isn't. It really is primarily um, a way of trying to work on the way the mind is functioning from within the mind itself. Um, and I think it's limited in its value. You know, a detachment is a tool. It's not a life, right? For me, the, the real transformation in my thinking um, and in the behaviors that followed from my thinking happened through my work within my body. So I would work with Alexander Lowen and Bioenergetics and do strong discharges, emotional releases, um, or holotropic breathwork, Stan Groff's brilliant work. And the more material I moved out of me, the more calmer and clarified my mind became. So I, I woke down in order to wake up. Um, and I think this cuts to the heart of so much of the writing of this book, Grounded Spirituality, was, was always my experience that working within the heart itself was the way to calm the mind. Um, so I encourage you to check the book out and to consider this question. Often in the patriarchal traditions, they're obsessed with the mind. They blame the mind for everything. They blame the ego for almost everything. That Whatever they don't blame on the ego, they blame it on the mind. Um, and to me, it's kind of like the way, you know, I mean, I remember being a little boy and often not wanting to acknowledge my pain and my shadow and looking for all kinds of tricks and trips and mechanisms to explain my behavior um, that were about blaming it on something other than the pain that I was in. Um, and to me, this has just become a kind of codified and concretized way of being in the patriarchal spiritual traditions, which is most of what we've been calling spirituality forever. So just think about this and feel more importantly into this, this question of whether or not what's going on in the mind, what we call the monkey mind, is really about the mind or is it really about what's happening way below the mind in the unresolved and anxious emotional body that needs clarification, healing, and reintegration? And when we follow that path and come down somatically into our material, discharge it, move it all the way through to resolution and transformation, I can assure you that many of the monkey mind-like activities that you're experiencing will calm and soften, and you will know a much truer, deeper, and more integrated peace. Thanks.